Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Jokion Wiersma, also known as EJ. Uh, so yes, you guys, finally the video is ready. The video about uh, me uh, getting a new uh, floor inside of my Orchid greenhouse. Which means that basically everything around me and in front of me, which you can see, needed to come out and make room. So we could take out the old floor and obviously get in the new floor. I had some help. I had some help from colleagues and, and friends to get a, the old floor out and a contractor to get the new floor in. But yeah, oh my, oh my, oh my, it was, uh, it was a job. But before I go into into that, um, I'm obviously going to show uh, you what happened. There will be a lot of sped up parts because it was a project about that Overall, took about one and a half weeks before I, I basically finished today. It's Wednesday, so it's yeah, uh, one and a half week uh, further from the start of the project that I could say now I'm finished. Every plant is back. There needed to be a lot of. Um, I had to do a lot of uh, things on my own, uh, putting the lamps back, the plastic, the shelves, and and etc. It's just. Um, because of the difference of the floors. Now this floor at uh, this part is higher than it was. So the shelving was too close to the uh, roof of the greenhouse. The plants were touching the roof, etc. So I adjusted it in this uh, last couple of days because obviously I also have to work. So I didn't have uh, that much time. Anyhow, we finished. I did uh, obviously the intro and the outro after the video because I thought, well, I'm going to see what happens. Maybe I need to explain something. But the only thing that I uh, just said is we're going to see a lot of sped up parts. And I tried to find suitable music, which is always a challenge because we all have our own uh, tastes. And uh, yeah, you never know. But I think I liked it optimistic, a little bit uh, up tempo. This is not necessarily music that I like to put on my radio. But uh, in this case, like I said, a little bit of up tempo is suited. So I hope you enjoy the music as well. Anyhow, um, I will see you after the video. Let's start this project because it's, it's, it is a project. So uh, here we go. <laughs> quick update in between this is uh, what I did so far just starting out and I decided to uh, also do this these plants in, inside of the orchid room as much as I can tolumnias and uh, got to see them so I have a few maybe they, I'm going to leave them there I'm not completely sure but yeah the most warmer growers <laughs> they are all warm growers almost, but I like to uh, just put them in like the ep epidendrums as well. Those should be uh, able to take a little bit uh, colder temperatures, but still they need to uh, go out because they are on the floor. And the fans are inside of the house, inside of the kitchen. Well, let's first uh, have a look. We just saw it sped up, but here we are. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, you guys. Look at this. But 
I mean, I have room for more plants <laughs> if I can do this. Oh, this would be horrible for watering. And somehow, yeah, it looks nice. If you have the nice arrangements on orchid shows, there are a lot together as well. I just put them there just uh, on shape and form so I can uh, put on as much as I can on tables. But if you do a, a nice arrangement, it looks great. But <laughs> yeah, for now, it's just because it must, of course. I, I really don't like doing this. I really uh, also try to pay attention at spikes, even though this I just sprayed it yesterday for thrips, but we still have some buds. I try to uh, look out for the blooms, etc. Look at this beauty. And my Ancelia Africanas. Here is a spike. So yeah, really try to uh, have a look for those details, of course. I don't want to break them, but who knows. Anyhow, I'm just uh, going to uh, take a quick break. Oh, well, actually, before I do, let's have a quick visit at the Vandas. The Vandas, I'm sorry. Here we go, inside of our kitchen. It's a bit dark here, but here on the table. <laughs> look at that. That is our forest, fantasy forest wall. And uh, we now have uh, temporarily some uh, vendas here as well. It's very dark here, but yeah, I hope they will uh, survive a few days over here. Anyhow, and what are you saying? Hello, hello. <laughs> Yes, I need to go to work. Well, actually, I'm about to uh, take a break. Let's uh, go back into the orchid room. Here we are. Whoops. And we are in focus. You see, it does uh, focus better here than inside of the kitchen. This camera is used to filming orchids <laughs> instead of kitchen and dogs, etc. Anyhow, I'm going to take the break uh, and then we uh, need to fill up uh, these spaces with cattleyas. Update again. <laughs> okay, but they fit, so I now know this is the opposite. That I sh could, if I would, have way more plants in here. <laughs> but no, I don't want to. But yeah, I managed to get quite a quite a, a lot of cattleya types and cattleyas and ladyas over there. Some here, as we just saw, some here. So let's have a quick look inside of the greenhouse. I mean, look at this. Oh, looks horrible. So empty. But yeah, we are getting there. So now I can uh, reuse the shelving. I need some uh, extra room for my Miltonias and Brushia and then Drobium Phenoliopsis types over there because those need to go in as well, all of them. So uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so yes, you guys, before we go any further, just wanted to let you know that I probably had quite a uh, good idea to give my shelves a number. So I know where they were before the move, before I did clear it out. Because every, in any second, any minute after this, I'm going to start getting the shelves in and it will be chaos, of course, over here. So I thought, yeah, let's give it a number so I exactly know where they were before I did take them out. Maybe it's a clever idea, I don't know, but I think it uh, will help me uh, any long way when I need to put it back. <laughs> so uh, let's go.
So yes, let's have a quick update in the greenhouse. Believe it or not, but you can see that all the plants who were originally living there, whoops, my uh, Miltonias, Brachyphalas, Dendrobium phenoliopsis, Sherry Babies, are all in. So yes, I did take off some fells because they were hanging here and just I kept on bumping into them. So they are temporarily there and I will try to put as many fells in as well, just because uh, that door will be open on Monday, Tuesday and probably, yeah, Wednesday as well. During the day, so a lot of cold air will come in. Uh, I cannot prevent that. But luckily the forecast is predicting that it's not going to freeze. So that's a plus. But anyhow, I will try uh, to get some fails off as well. The ones that are not attached with aerial roots on the bricks, I will try to uh, put in as well. I know some of you were uh, some uh, had a bit of concern about the fails as well. I agree. So I will try to put in as many as I can. In my Blooms Buds and Such update, I was like, I don't need to take them in, but preferably because of the colder temperatures that will be in here temporarily, I still want to take them uh, inside of the orchid room. If there is some room left or maybe in a house, I'm not sure yet, but look at this. <laughs> we managed to find a spot so far for all of the orchids. Look at this, it's kind of funny. And do you hear that? A bit of strange music in the background. That is coming from the pest party. So there's a new word for you guys, pest party. I mean, imagine it's winter, I cannot spray my plants, so I have a bit more pests. I have them kind of under control, normally. I have some spider mites on my Miltoniopsis, some scale here and there, and some thrips, aphids. And I mean, look at this. This is a pest party. It's one highway from one plant to another. So yeah, if you hear some music, some strange music, that's because of the pests. They really have a party going on. Oh boy, oh boy. But anyhow, it's all for the best. <laughs> and I will, uh, in spring, I, I can start spraying again. And of course, I will keep my eyes on as soon as they are back in the greenhouse and, and just keep my eye on the plants and see what I can do. But yeah, best party, you guys. Best party. Okay, enough talking. Let's continue this uh, saga. <laughs> So yes, we are getting somewhere. Look, I have a lot of fells inside. But these need to stay because these have the aerial roots attached. And well, maybe this one could go, but it's high up. I think it keeps, it will be a bit warmer up there. But these sadly do have aerial roots attached to the bricks and, and uh, the woods. <laughs> this, I need to sacrifice this root. I Look, it's also going inside of the orchid room and I need that door closed. So yeah, probably that will not survive, but it has way more. One is going over here, so it should be fine. But yeah, it's so messy. Oh, <laughs> I now really can clean up. I have even some mold going on over there. I was aware of that, but I will clean it up as well. 
now I have the chance. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Really clean this up and look at that, who is trying to visit us. He's not really allowed <laughs> inside of the greenhouse. Yeah, this is actually this. I love this so much. This door will take us directly inside of the house. So that's the view from outside of the house. I love it. I really love my greenhouse over here. And yes, talking about um, dirt, old blooms, and look at these plastic covers that I have. They are so dirty. So yeah, I'm going to clean those very well. Look at this, something is leaking here. I had no idea. <laughs> A lot of mold and over here. So yeah, that's not nice. It happens all, always around uh, fall and winter when I do get uh, some mold here and there. Not that much, even though it looks quite heavily now, it stopped being as moldy, believe it or not, because I uh, kept it a bit drier, but still. But yeah, we uh, need to take these shells out. But before I do, I'm going to uh, have a quick look inside of the house. So what are you doing? Yes, let's take us on a tour. So I'm not going to show the complete house, <laughs> but some here is that big uh, conifer plant. Here are some paintings, actually I did. And those are on my channel as well. So if you want to see me paint those, uh, you need to go back a few years, but they are there. Also my uh, horse paintings, look at that. How big these are. I really, really am happy I did these. These are, are uh, two Frisian horses. So yeah, you can see, they are very big. That's my hand against them. So I have some plants here on the table, a coffee table as well. This is our oldest dog, Jures. Oh yes, do you? Yeah, do you want to say something? <laughs> he's 13 years and he's really getting older. So walking is a little bit difficult for him, but still he's so happy. Yes, oh, you are so happy. Yes. And a little one, Liam. Yes, you are Liam, is six years. Oh, let my cable, you guys. <laughs> I have my mic. <laughs> <laughs> so he has some plants on the coffee table. Conifer and one orchid and a Hoya over there. Let's go over here. What are we doing, Liam? Yes, no, wrong way, this way. And we have some over here. I have some fells here, as you can see. So yeah, just a few inside. I think it's better. Let's uh, start filming the floor again. So you have a little bit idea of the house that we are living in. Here are our computers. <laughs> That's my husband's and this is my computer. So here I do all the editing over here. Another painting that I did, it's also on my channel. So that's over here. But this is uh, normally the, you know, I mean, this is the view through the greenhouse. So that's very beautiful. So if I am working over here, I have a beautiful uh, view over there. Normally, it's now a little bit messy, obviously. Let's go over to the kitchen. Has one more look at the Vendas. So they are too getting some light. That's ex and like I said earlier, our forest. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I really love mushrooms houses. I don't know why, but I love them <laughs> so much. Anyhow, um, these are uh, like I said the Vendas, and well, uh, we are at the paintings. This is the painting that I did for my parents. My parents died three years ago, and we had swans uh, on the carts when they. Uh, when they uh, died. And this is actually my mother and that's my father. My mother died first and exactly nine weeks later, my father died as well. So now they are back together. So that's why the swans are here. And this is a, a painting, but I didn't film this painting. So I don't have a tutorial on that on my channel, but anyhow, I'm really happy I did it. So they're always around us. Jure, yes. Hello, wanna say hi? Oh. I see something going inside the greenhouse. He's technically not allowed to go there. What are you doing? Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> what did you do? You're not allowed there. You know that. Yes. Is this everything we get? Can you speak? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, beautiful. You will get the treat in a second. Anyhow, you guys, I need to continue this. But uh, this is on Saturday, so so far I did quite a quite a lot actually. But yeah, it's so messy, and yeah, the, the tiles are very loose. I'm 
I should have gone with a, uh, gone with a con concrete floor at the beginning, but yeah, sometimes you make decisions. And soon I hope this all will be over and clean and wonderful again. But anyhow, like I said, I need to uh, clear this section as well and take these uh, conifer plants inside as well. And then uh, I shall see what the, what the next project will be after that. <laughs> So yes, the shelves are gone, everything uh, is cleared out uh, as good as I can. So yeah, we are getting somewhere, you guys. We are definitely getting somewhere. And over here, I'm just, we'll take this shelf out, but that I will not film because we had another of that, uh, that uh, I think. <laughs> so yeah, my vanilla orchids, some here. But I wanted to show you this. We had some extra fells. Here and here. So yeah, a lot of plants. But I sort of kind of left a bit of room so I can even reach the sink over there if I really need to. Because we have roots everywhere, we have spikes everywhere. But oh my God, I, ha I have plants. I have a lot of plants. But anyhow, this is it. It's, uh, it makes me... Uh, giggle a little bit as well it's just uh, yeah so many plants i love it all for the best you guys and such a beautiful hobby so uh yeah i'm now going to clean up the le few pieces and then i'm whoops i'm sorry for the noise and i hope i didn't make you dizzy there and then i will uh, see tomorrow but today is saturday so i did a, quite a lot of uh, work i will clean that area out and yeah, I'm debating. Do I need to swipe the floor? Is that really? Near? Yeah, I think I need to do to get the, to the towels a little bit easier on Monday. So that's probably what I'm going to do Sunday, and I will add it in uh, in this video as well. I think just. Uh, but yeah, I have some ferns here. Those need to go out. Those weren't plants. I treat them as weeds because I do get them everywhere. But with a concrete floor, that should all be over as well. So yeah, all, all kinds, kinds of little bonuses. So anyhow, uh, this is it for the Saturday and I will see you tomorrow when it's Sunday and I will do a few more bits and pieces. So you guys, uh, today it's Monday and um, today is the day that we will take the tiles out. <laughs> So yeah, that's the last part of the heavy lifting for us, luckily. And then uh, tomorrow the construction workers will be here and they can start digging uh, mud out and uh, making room for the new floor. But yeah, uh, today uh, it's quite a bit of heavy lifting. We need to take all these tiles out and it's messy, it's raining outside. So yeah, this floor really needs an update. It really does, so it's all for the best. But. It's a job, but anyhow, I'm going to uh, start working because this uh, video is probably uh, fairly long uh, anyways. But anyhow, here we go. Let's take them out.
the uh, tiles <laughs> are gone as you can see oh my gosh what a water here it is so messy now it's absolutely crazy but anyhow and yes some uh, rats holes here they had a wonderful time apparently but those will be gone as well because of the concrete so i will uh, get rid of those as well but you can see the air gaps they bring and cold air is right outside of course coming in through those holes so yeah but this is how it looks <laughs> yeah and luckily we have a nice sunny day it's windy you can probably hear it in the background but there's some sun so my heaters are uh, now shut off because the warmth of the sun is coming in so that's uh, that's uh, I'm very fortunate with that, obviously, because it, it costs a little bit of extra, I think, these days to keep it warm. Not as bad so far. I should knock on woods, but not, not as bad. They can, uh, there's a heater and I have one hanging here. So those uh, keep these plants fairly warm. Those poor plants, but yeah, like we discussed, to be, uh, there wasn't another way for me because of the aerial roots, etc. But yeah, just a quick update in between. Today is Monday. Today, this is it for today. Tomorrow it's Tuesday and then the construction workers will come and they will start out uh, digging the dirt here. So for us, this uh, was the last heavy lifting. And there were qu quite some uh, tiles, as you can see. It looks like there's not that much, but I think we are at uh, 250, maybe 300. So yeah, I had, uh, I, it was kind of heavy, but it's okay it's fine it's done and like i said tomorrow i don't uh, have to do much i believe and then uh this will work for now i have to keep the cold air out but tomorrow they will start digging here as well so that's i hope i can seal this somehow just for one night so we shall see so uh, i don't get uh, overwhelmed by uh, the costs of course to keep it warm but like i said so far it's going well so hopefully it will uh, it's just one night and it's not freezing cold at the moment but yeah like i said this will be a challenge but uh, like i said also this was a quick update let's go to another project and let's start digging <laughs> so it's now uh, tuesday on the afternoon they just finished for the day so this is how it looks. I cannot really open the door that much because of the the plastic there, the covering. But um, yeah, it's going to start to look like something. <laughs> Everything is now ready for the concrete for tomorrow. So that will be uh, tomorrow morning. And then, uh, well, yeah, I will see what I'm going to film tomorrow. Obviously, uh, the floor. Maybe I can uh, film a little bit of the... Uh, really uh, putting the floor in but i'm not completely sure because i i'm really not com comfortable to filming uh, them because they are just uh, workers here and i have a youtube channel but anyhow i uh, update as much as i can of course but yeah it looks uh, looks well and i'm now uh, heating the orchid room again of the greenhouse i should say and my poor plants yeah you can barely see them are around the corner but i can enter from outside so uh, I was allowed to uh, walk on this, which is a bit challenging, but anyhow. So yeah, poor plants, they are getting uh, some warmth in again. But this is Tuesday and uh, for now uh, it's done. And tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we will uh, start this project again. Hopefully with a beautiful new floor. <laughs> so and now it's Wednesday morning, early morning. Here is a truck with my new floor for the greenhouse and yeah i needed to film this uh through a, a fairly dirty window because i don't want to be in the room there with them uh, but they are now working with the concrete as you can see it's very wet still and they use this hose this pipe thing to get it in here you see it uh, uh, getting into the greenhouse so here is the start of my new floor And believe it or not, this is uh, about a one hour later, but this is how it looks uh, when it's daylight. It's, they just finished, it's uh, wet as you can see, but uh, here is my new floor. So just a quick update today, it's Sunday. So yes, we are uh, needing more time than uh, originally was the plan. But anyhow, it happens. Today is the day where I did my uh, upload, my little update. It's Sunday. 
And finally, finally, guys, I can start moving stuff back in. Well, stuff, just all the things that it did came out need to come back in. But before I do that, I just wanted to quick uh, give an update on why we are later, what happened. And then uh, I will start uh, uh, shuffling around stuff again and speed uh, uh, this video up again. And, uh, but this is the best part, of course, of this video. The plants can come back. So just a quick update and then uh, we will start our running again. <laughs> well, first of course, you guys, the, here it is, the new floor. Absolutely looking stunning. Look at this compared to the tiles. It's so much better. No weeds anymore. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. And before I forget, I have even a new drain here. So if I uh, splash some water, it's not the end of the world. I can really wipe it uh, back and um, it will uh, go in the drain, obviously. So in summer, I could even wet this floor if I needed extra humidity or just for cleaning. It's, I, I didn't have it over there. That's new and it's perfect. So that is that. And here is the other part of the greenhouse. Absolutely beautiful. And maybe you remember this, but it's now one even floor. So that floor was a little bit higher than here, over here. So, um, and that is where the problem starts. I did tell the construction worker that he needed to keep an eye on this uh, yeah, wall. Let's keep it a wall because it's not that deep. So I said the floor needs to be high enough, otherwise we will have gaps. Yeah, yes, you guessed it already. We did gaps, <laughs> did uh, uh, get gaps uh, from one centimeter up to two centimeters over here. So that's almost one inch. Uh, so way too big. So yeah, I had one day that I came in and I will show you some pictures that it was a lot of rainwater uh, in here. I do not have gutters. On the greenhouse, that's something I will get as well because I, over this area there, uh, once if it's rain, uh, we do, do get uh, collect a lot of water here. So too much to go into the soil straight away, so it will run in or try to run in the greenhouse. So that needs to be avoided as much as we can. But anyhow, that's the delay. So what happened was that this top layer of floor, I originally did not order. You need to pay for it extra. But he gifted this for free because he said, it's my fault, you told me so. And still, I did measure everything, but the floor was too low. So I want to, I see he said, yeah, I want to I wanna, uh, deliver a perfect product, of course. Uh, so this, this top layer you will get for, to, uh, for free. And we will uh, make sure it is higher than the walls, so to speak, of the greenhouse. So it will keep the water out. So that's beautiful, but it did take uh, longer than expected, but I'm so happy with this top layer. It's so more beautiful than I thought. So uh, yes, you guys, a little bit of sunshine and um, early day. So I think it's uh, perfect to start this uh, journey. Let's see how much work we can uh, do today. Uh, we shall see. I'm going to put you on a tripod and I will take it from there again. <laughs>
the first part is back in. Most of the files, I have a few left that I cannot reach at the moment, but most of them are back. So far I did break one flower spike, a branch, uh, but anyhow we will uh, have a look at that uh, later on. But so far, uh, uh, yeah, they are back and it looks so beautiful. I'm so happy those are back. I did rearrange it a little bit. I think it, it looks uh, even prettier than it was. But anyhow, uh, maybe I will include it in this video or I think I will do another video, just an overall update after the move type of video. Now it's finally time to put in the shelving back and uh, the lights. So uh, let's do that, you guys. <laughs> So yes, you guys, I think we can easily say that this was a job, a project, but oh boy, it is so beautiful. In a second, I'm going to grab the camera and we will have a last overall look at uh, how it looks now. And I I'm planning on doing an update in two or three weeks just to see if the plants had any stress. Uh, the things that I did change, the setup is a little bit changed already, maybe a little bit of uh, things I will change uh, in the meanwhile, the coming weeks, you never know. But I think overall everything is now in a place as I like it to be. But anyhow, I thought I'm going to do an update because I can imagine that it's quite stressful for the plants. And obviously <laughs> we had a pest party, which is actually two words. I said it's one new word, but in my country, in my language, it would be one word. But in English, it's still two words. Anyhow, a pest party. So let's see how that goes. I tried to check everything. Maybe you saw me with a sprayer here and there, especially on the fails. 
just some mealy bugs and everything I could see that uh, did get a spray. <laughs> so I tried to keep it under control. And as soon as we start the better weather in spring, I can spray everything and sh we should be fine. It's not that much, but you know how it goes with pests. If you don't be on top of them, you will have get the outbreaks and then, uh, and then you have a lot of more work to get them under control. So I like to be uh, straight on top of them uh, whenever I see them. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Like I said, I'm going to uh, give you a few of how it now is. And if you ask me, it is stunning. I love it. It's so beautiful. So here we go. So yes, I am walking on that new floor. <laughs> walking on sunshine. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Yeah, and I'm filming this a bit later in the day, so I can have that ambient feel in here, or create that feel with the lights on. It's just, it's almost like, like a store or something, a plant store. But yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. But yeah, everything is sort of in, in the place where it was before. And it did take very long, <laughs> because today I did put a plastic bag on. And yeah, that's, then I need to get the plants out again, etc. So it's, it's quite a job, but yeah, the overall, the finished uh, look is, is magnificent. So beautiful. So uh, yeah, this is the floor. I really uh, like this top colored uh, floor. I really, really enjoy the color. And oops, I'm sorry. This is the wall. I did change it a bit over here. I did uh, put the bigger pots more in one row. Maybe you saw that. So, uh, so it was a little bit easier for me to get them into place. Plus, I did water them for the first time in this setup in between. Way easier. <laughs> Even though with all the spikes sticking out. And I had a few casualties, but I will uh, go over that in the next video in about two, three weeks if I do an update. But not much. So, so far, we uh, we still have to and this the blooms in about look at this one this is a probably my most favorite one i love that the pink yellow and orange together it's such a beautiful fell sadly no name but um anyhow yes they so far do look well i'm not sure if i have any cold damage i don't know yet but that's also for the next video so yeah, my fennas are back. And here are my cattleyas and cattleya types, the more warmer growers. And down here, I like to put my new uh, plants so that they can adjust a bit easier. They can transition over here as well into the new system. Same hydroponics. And I have created a few more shelves. Those, those plants have even more room. <laughs> And my cut seeded types, even though they still have leaves, I'm trying to force them in a sort of dormancy. <laughs> but um, yeah, and that's a little bit of darker, cooler uh, section. So that's why they are there now. So yeah, I think uh, we can say this is it for this video. It was, uh, like I said in the uh, intro, uh, absolutely a very big job. I enjoyed it, but I'm happy it's it's done now. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and and, and have a close up of, uh, at all the plants was uh, was okay, was good, but yeah, this is the best putting them back. <laughs> so anyhow, you guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Like I said, I will do an update. I, I think it's uh, nice to have a close up uh, of the plants, how they do. If we see any stress, so far it looks uh, looks beautiful. I don't uh, see any blooms dropping earlier than they should. So uh, I think we are doing fine. For now, thank you so much for watching. And I really, of course, hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>